All right, gang, happy Sunday morning. Kind of a follow-up. I inquired a while ago about my 2014 F-150 horn. Um, I would push it, and nothing would happen. And if down here by the uh, fuse panel, it's a mess, don't worry about it, but you can hear it click. So the assumption would be that the relay was bad. Um, there is no relay on this truck. Um, I checked the fuses. Fuses are fine. You get down in there under the, you pull the cover out and there's just the big body control manual or something like that. It's called the BCM. So after some forums and different chats with some different people, um, I, I tested the wiring. So this was a temporary fix. I took my, um, I, I took my trusty, uh, tester here. And so I got a partner to push the, to push my horn and I wasn't getting power at the original connection right here. I got no power here. And then I tested my horns with, uh, just, you know, positive and negative from the battery and that worked. So I knew somewhere between the horn obviously and the and the end here i wasn't getting power so i assumed the whole bcm was bad because there's no relay whatever so based on that information i followed you know some instruction and i said oh crap i'm just gonna have to put a uh, push button dash on dash button on and make the horn relay and bypass it so i don't know what prompted me but i did a little further testing and i cut the switch i cut my connector off when I was going to put my switch on and I was doing some farting around with the wiring and um, so when I took this uh, this connector off the factory connector I then ran some wiring uh, some new wiring and my horn now works so I guess I'm just posting this to let you guys know that it may not be that whole $600 BCM if you can even find one the fact is that connector can go bad i found out so i ordered one on online i don't know where um parts giant parts geek something like that it was pretty cheap it was five bucks um i got a little molex connector so i'm gonna undo some of this jimmy reagan i did while my horn was actually working i'm gonna put the molex connector on here and uh that should be working so i'll be back in a second show you what i'm doing and i'll have my horn again and it's definitely not the BCM. It was definitely not the switch in the steering wheel, which a lot of people said when I checked out the forum. So hopefully this Molex connector can be a cheap fix uh, for you guys. And uh, we can move forward with this F-150 horn problem that apparently does happen on occasion. See you in a minute. So now you see, I just took that Molex connector, positive to negative. Hooked it up right there. I'll heat shrink it and wrap it back up in the, uh, you know, plastic outer casing that came right there. But now, good as new. So, like I said, you'll find some of the forums. It's pretty elaborate, but uh, it actually was the connection. The factory connector itself was bad. So when I tested it um there was no power getting to it so i assumed it was somewhere between the bcm between the bcm and here i didn't even give a thought to the actual connector itself so do some really good troubleshooting and save yourself a lot of scratch and um you know be good so i'm just going to clean this up and we'll be good to go thanks for watching and there we go finished product all wrapped up together, taped up nice, connection put together. So there's your 2014 and probably other years F-150 potential horn problem. If I can find a way to put the uh, item in the link from where I got it and what the actual Molex connector was called, I'll do that. But uh, I'm not big at this. I'm just trying to save a guy a buck when I can. All right. Peace. Praise God for saving me some money. Later.